What's up guys and welcome back to yet another what I eat in a week. We're starting this week off on a Sunday and honestly I think there's no better way to celebrate the beginning of a new week than with pancakes. So you can call me lazy but the birch benders mix that I'm using really does come in clutch when it comes to making pancakes just because I'm like the kind of person that doesn't really care to spend more time in the kitchen than necessary so you could say I practically live by this mix. Something I really want to talk about today is the importance of truly honoring our bodies and our cravings. I remember way back when I had a really unhealthy relationship with food and exercise that I never dared to even consider honoring my cravings and I was immersed constantly in pursuing different diet trends and developed this idea that my body wasn't enough as it is, that I had to eat a certain way because my body simply didn't know any better. And looking back at it now, I couldn't have been more wrong. I mean, it's taken me a long time to get to the place where I am now. And although I still have so much room to grow and I'm constantly learning and improving every single day, I'm so grateful for this moment and however imperfect it might seem at times. Now I choose to move my body in order to feel good and to feel stronger not to burn a certain number of calories or to afford food at all. And how do I look at food now? Well, for one, I no longer view it through the lens of a number or a label, but rather what it allows my body to do. Food is fuel and it helps me push myself harder in my workouts, make gains, make memories with friends, feel satisfied, have a healthy period. There's literally an endless list of things food does for me that is so much more than whatever the calories might read on the nutrition label. And I believe that the same thing can be said for our bodies. Your worth is so much more than a number on the scale or how many calories you burned in a workout. So actually on this Tuesday, I did not sleep. Well, I did sleep, but I woke up really early and decided to make some granola because I wanted to make my favorite smoothie bowl, which I have this all the time. and. Even though it's getting cold in Florida, for me, that's not an excuse because that's what blankets are for. So I love the smoothie bowl. I've said that a million times, but if you have never made this, then this is your sign that you need to make this because it's so good. And the brownie granola that I made is also on the blog and it's also really good. So this day was actually my lecture day. So I had all my lectures that day and I was busy, I was a busy bee, so I made some soup to cook while I was watching one of my lectures, and this is honestly one of my favorite soups ever. It can also be eaten as a curry, which you'll see later in this video, but yeah, that soup is also on the blog if you're interested. Another topic I really wanted to talk about was trust and honoring your cravings. And these past three years have been a roller coaster for me, honestly, and I think that now I'm finally beginning to find a balance amidst everything that's happened. There was a time where I used to use labels to uphold a sense of control in my life, specifically in regards to food. And what I've learned since then was that there's no good or bad foods, and food is simply just energy. And not only that, but lifestyles aren't one size fits all. Just because someone might thrive being vegan or paleo doesn't mean someone else will, and that's okay. If anything, this whole process has taught me to be so much more compassionate towards others and towards the lifestyles they choose to live and practice no judgment around that. And just as all bodies are different, everyone's individual lifestyle is different. So to me, that just kind of verifies or validates how you can't necessarily judge someone's diet just because it's not the same as yours. So I'm not gonna lie, but this workout practically killed me. I'm, Lily's just something else, I guess. But yeah, I mean, I guess I would also say that lately I've been experimenting with different types of exercise. So a big part of my journey through having a healthier relationship with food and exercise is learning to view exercise in a different light. And for me, that's just finding ways that make me happy when it comes to moving my body. And actually, 
it's been really fun. I've taken up kickboxing, dancing, arm workouts, just strength training. Like I do a wide range of things. And that's definitely a change from when I was always strictly doing cardio and forcing myself to do exercises that I didn't like. And so if you're working on rebuilding your relationship with exercise and food, I would definitely recommend just experimenting. Try doing what you like and try finding out what you like if you're not sure. Instead of looking at life as something that you have to get right all the time, try looking at your life as just this one big experiment where some things might work and some things might not, but that doesn't take away from the fact that regardless, you're learning something. And this whole journey for me has been a process to learn more about myself. And it sounds weird, but if anything, I think that it's kind of cool where you're going on this journey and you're just exploring who you are because there's so much of you to learn about and there's like an infinite amount of energy and infinite universes within your being. And I think that's just so cool that you get a chance to explore that within yourself during this lifetime. And I just hope that you're able to see all the beauty and all the light that I see in you. And I don't know, it's, it's taken me a while to see it within myself. So I guess now my, my hope in communicating with you guys and talking to you is to help you see the same thing. So yeah, I mean, yeah, we're just gonna go with that. For me right now, I'm learning to live in the gray area. And I can say that after teetering between two extremes for the past couple years, it honestly feels like I'm finally happy and I'm finally finding peace within myself. And my hope in sharing these videos isn't just to merely give you recipe ideas and to show off my smoothie bowls and pancakes, although it is nice to share all that content with you. But really, I want these videos to remind you that whatever you're facing in life, that you deserve to put yourself first for once. Your health and your mental health and your wellness is so, so important. And you have the power to change your life for the better. And no matter what, you are always worth it. Guys, so that is going to be the end of this video. I really hope you liked it. I've been trying to kind of experiment with how I edit my what I eat in a week. So if you liked the way this one turned out, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you know when I post videos. But other than that, I just want you guys to know that I'm sending so much love your way and that I hope this showed you and gave you some recipe ideas and just reminded you that you're enough as you are, that you don't need to change to fit someone else's standards of what's acceptable or not acceptable, but that you're worth it always no matter what. So know that I'm sending so much love and positive vibes to each and every one of you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.